The access of winning an instrument from the Canada Council Musical Instrument Bank really affected my entire national presence in Canada because this is a national event that happens every three years. Uh, it's a big deal because it's not every 18-year-old or 20-year-old using um, a 300-year-old instrument uh, for their concerts and really allowed me to enter a different profile as an artist. I got to meet great artists from all around the world. The Instrument Bank uh, alumni are, are very strong as well. There has been a long history of wonderful violinists and cellists who have benefited from this. And now it's over 10 years later and I'm still at it. I'm still discovering different violins. I'm still performing and continuing to discover deeper into music and to violins. My relationship, that was a bonus, actually, uh, over the years. I like to say that a lot of these young artists, when we sort of interact and connect, I seem to get the nickname Uncle Rick out there. Well, their talent is immense, you know. Some of the Canadian talent is just sit you right down and make you give your head a shake. But these artists have great personalities, and when you start to interact with them through the common cause, which is the musical instrument, your, com your commonalities just open up, you know. It, it, you start feeding off of them and shooting back at them, and then they shoot back at you, and the next thing you know, you're bonding over a piece of wood. Mon nom est Noémie Raymond Frizet. Je joue du violoncelle. Et quand j'ai gagné un instrument de la banque d'instruments, je jouais sur ce magnifique violoncelle qui s'appelle Le Requin de euh, Guillaume. En fait, c'est une relation très, très amicale. C'est toujours un plaisir de revenir ici. Euh, à, chaque, à chaque année, on devait faire inspecter notre instrument et puis on, en, on profitait du moment pour parler. Euh, Rick m'expliquait beaucoup sur ces grands instruments-là, dans le fond, d'où ça venait, c'est quoi le, toute l'histoire euh, derrière ces instruments-là. Et c'est vraiment, euh, vraiment une belle relation, dans le fond. <rire> en tant que musicien, on ne réalise pas ça toujours, mais on ne connaît pas tant que ça comment un instrument fonctionne. Donc d'avoir quelqu'un comme ça qui prend le temps de nous expliquer, euh, c'est vraiment, vraiment spécial. Donc, c'est toujours un plaisir de revenir ici. This is just one spoke in the artistic wheel. I know there are many spokes, and there may even be more important spokes in the wheel, but this is it. This is what makes us human. I mean, if you just, if you look at, at a violin, and sometimes people say to me, Mr. Heinel, why is the scroll round like that? Well, there's a very good reason for it. It's to pay homage to the universe. You ever see galaxies in outer space, and they're spinning like that? They're perfect. They're, Snails are perfect. It's, it's nature. It's nature at, at work. It's a natural force, and we pay homage to it. The body of the instrument is all just a series of mathematical arcs, created, you know, arcs and curves and, and numbers. It's, it's math. It's nature's math. So how could you not fall in love with it? 